Welcome to a Lessons Learned session pre presented by Predictive Solutions. This session will cover observation best practices as they relate to counting methods. We will discuss the observation counting methods so that you gain a consistent approach to data collected and then have confidence in the data that is collected. I want to cover a couple definitions. First, an inspection is the act of viewing, especially careful, carefully or critically. Within SafetyNet, an inspection is a collection of individual observations. An observation is the act or an instance of noticing or perceiving. It can be an individual condition, behavior, or activity as it relates to safety net. So there's three general rules that we typically follow as we add observations into safety net. People parts is the easiest. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. An example is a hard hat, an electrical cord, or a tool guard. Each time you see one of those, that's one observation. So if there are 10 people in the area, each wearing a hard hat, or should be wearing a hard hat, those would be 10 observations. Each electrical cord seen is one observation. The next rule is measuring length. You can break it out into 10 foot sections or system. For example, a guardrail, if it's perimeter cable, it could be 80 feet, but it's connection to connection, that's one observation because if you undo one end, that affects the entire system. Another example is fencing, you do it by section walkways you do it by section. That's Each walkway would be one observation. The third is area. You measure by room or partition, by section, by grid. There's really only two things that fall into here. That's housekeeping. For example, the housekeeping within a room would be one observation. An exposed area of rebar caps. This is critical. Rebar caps are measured by area, not individually. An example of people parts, here we have an electrical cord. The condition of the, that cord is one observation. If there were 10 cords, that would be 10 observations. If we're measuring hard hats, 10 people, 10 observations. An example of measuring length, here we have a guardrail. Regardless if that's 5 feet or 50 feet, it would be connection to connection. Because if you undo this one end, or if this one end is bad, it affects the safety of the entire system. Another example of length is this fence in this photo. Each section of that fence is one observation. As you measure area, this one room would be one observation as it relates to housekeeping. This section of rebar, this exposed section of rebar, this is measured as one observation. Each exposed area, one observation. Frequent feedback to observers is needed to gain a consistent approach. As you see people counting rebar individually, you want to, to coach them and make sure that going forward they are counting the same as everybody else. This will lead to confidence in your data. You cannot make equal comparisons if one person is counting rebar individually, for example, and another is counting them by area as everybody else is. The contractor would look much different, the location would look much different. These rules of thumb can be made company specific. We Predictive Solutions has an observation best practice document that can be customized to meet your individual needs. Mm -hmm.